Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training, bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to illustrate how Power Query allows us to quickly and easily update ever-changing information and get that information to flow directly into our reports. On the left side of my screen, I happen to have an access database, but this could be any database under the sun. And you'll notice that I have customers over there. And what I'd like to do is create a pivot table based on those customers in my Excel spreadsheet. Now I know that over time we will get more customers and potentially we'll also retire those customers. So I'd like to make sure that I never have incorrect data in my pivot table. Now what I'm going to do is close down the access database over there on the left and go directly into Microsoft Excel. I need to get the data from the database, so I go to my Data tab at the top of the screen, click on the Get Data drop-down menu, and in the From Database section, there is the Access Database option. This is Power Query, and we can use this to get information from basically any type of database that's out there. I'll click on to Access Database, and it asks me where the Access Database is. So here's my Craftsoft database that has sales and customers. I'll double click on that and it'll ask me which of the two tables from that database I need to bring in. I click onto the customers database and before I move forward, I will click on transform data to look at this inside of Power Query itself. As it comes into Power Query, it's very likely that there is a ton of information that's not really relevant to my pivot table over the long run. So I'll click over here onto Contact First Name, scroll across to the right, and highlight all the way to, let's say, Street, and remove all of this unnecessary information by right-clicking and choosing Remove Columns, and then maybe over here for the phone number as well, right-click and Remove Columns. So now I have the company, I have the company type, the city, the state, and the zip code, which is probably enough for the analysis that I need to make. So at this stage in the process, I click on the close and load drop down menu, click close and load two, and load it directly into a pivot table so that I can do my analysis. I'll load it into the existing worksheet in the current location that I have here and click OK. And now I can do something like take the company ID number, put it into the values field over here on the right hand side, and then break it down by the type of customer by dragging that into the rows field. So I can now see that I have 106 customers who are small to medium businesses, and I have 81 customers who are enterprise customers. And further, I could take these and turn it into, let's do a pie chart here. Click on pivot chart make it into a pie chart. And clean it up just a bit. Now, as I said, the most important thing to me is whether or not this is consistently up to date. If I go to the queries and connections panel on the right hand side, I can right click on that query and choose the properties of that query. And you'll notice that right now it is not refreshing every certain number of minutes, nor is it refreshing when I open the file. So I'll click the checkbox here for refreshing every time I open the file. And notice here, refresh this connection whenever I hit refresh all as well. I won't set it for a number of minutes, but I could do that here as well. Click OK. And now if I go over to our access database and open that back up. Let's add a few more customers. So here's the customer HGT. And now you can see that I have many more records. I'm all the way down here on Young as the name of this company. So I'll go ahead and save this and then go back to Microsoft Excel. Now I could right click on this and refresh it. 
I could go over here to the query on the right where it's loaded 187 rows, but let's use that refresh on open functionality. I'll save this spreadsheet, close it, and now I'll double click on my database extract to see what happens. When I double click on it, my Excel spreadsheet opens. And as you can see, once I enable the content and refresh, it goes from 187 customers to 508 customers. So when we create a connection to an outside data source using Power Query, we can then either manually or automatically refresh the query uh, based on a period of time, based on whether you're opening the spreadsheet or whether you push a button inside of Excel and get the latest version of the information that's in that database.